Does then I'm going to, to uh, say out loud, well, gentlemen, it looks like our uh, equipment is upstairs. Hmm. We're up, and uh, I'll know when we get close to it, once we break out of this, obviously. That is very useful. Well, of course it is. I'm Bill Hex. That's what I do. Uh, that was not so useful. Oh, and you obviously need to shout at each other because your uh, voices don't carry very uh, far through with the walls and everything. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But still, communication is possible. I just want to bring that up that you need to shout at each other so it's not very Let's use subtle. more codes <laughs> over the walls. Ding, 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 ding. Well, I would thick, use though. more code, however, I do not think Bill Hex Bill would recognize it. <laughs> uh, Bill Hex was <laughs> in the army. I think he'd recognize it. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? Not certain what kind of skill roll uh, more science. Would be, but we'd come up with something if you needed it. No, it's everything not science. Everything is science. You think everything's science? Yeah, sure, whatever. I must win the affection of that woman. Science. Science. <laughs> <laughs> He gets it! But gets science! It. You can blind her with yes. science! She will love, she will love my gigantic <laughs> brain power! <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> and that, but... No. Anyway... <clears throat> um, yes? You are suddenly start hearing footsteps down the hall. More specifically, one of them sounds like uh, boots. Yeah? His boots are made, made for walking. walking. That's just what they'll do. And, uh, yes, they're uh, coming your way. Is there anything you want to do, or are you going to wait it out? Finally, I'm going to wait it out. I'm mad showing you with all these men. <laughs> just kidding. Hmm. Okay, you, so you, everybody's going to wait it out? See what's yeah, uh, yeah. next? Dark. Okay, cool. Uh, so yes, um, the uh, source of the uh, boots is uh, someone you know, well at least already met. It's uh, the pretty Asian woman in uh, the uh, leather coat with the long hair and glasses. And uh, next to her is a, a new person you've ever Stop. actually never seen before. He's a man of average height who looks like he's in his 40s. He's uh, wearing a classy black suit and tie and has a uh, black, almost Beethoven-esque uh, messy hair with some uh, gray streaks um, running through it. He's um, got a rather large forehead, uh, thin eyebrows and a well-groomed goatee. And he smiles That's very broadly at you. And, he's, and he says... Well, it looks like I've caught myself some centurions. Well, even more of them. <laughs> Doctrine, I presume. You didn't really think you have any chance of this. I am well, just well, well, Victor I believes know. in chance, Ferdinand says. And you hear Bill Hex say, blah, 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 bad guy makes speech, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see we have a volunteer who wants oh, to yes. die blah, first. Blah, bad guy threatens death. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> not only are you rude, you're also not a gentleman because you you uh, struck Miss, M Miss blah, Neeson blah, over blah. here. Blah, blah, I'm being called rude. You should be very ashamed of yourself. He like leans in and like narrows his eyes at you. Oh, I'm so scared. How dare I? Really? I thought there'd be more pleading for lies. I'm impressed uh, by our mental fortitude. 
Yes, that's what the first one said eventually, but I managed to <laughs> yes, break their see, rules eventually. One problem. Uh, there is one oh, problem dear. with your uh, with your scheme here. You see, you you cap. You don't even know. Oh, you know what my scheme is. Well, do it enlighten has to me. Do with something with. I don't know, something evil maybe, but the whole fact of the matter is, is that Thanks you're ball. evil, <laughs> you're evil, oh. we're oh, good, I got this. end of discussion. <laughs> oh, drink. He actually, no actually it looks like the same what I'm doing, it looks like he has to hold back his laughter. My, my, you are truly That's as brilliant as you look. <laughs> How that... amusing. <laughs> You don't have you don't have a single clue of it what I'm trying matter. to accomplish here, do you? Except that it's it evil. Doesn't matter what you are trying to do here. <laughs> All that matters is that we're here, and we'll stop you. End you of go story. Down, down, down. You really shouldn't stop me, because you see, there's so much to gain that will all go to waste if you do stop me. For you see, within six years of now, this entire, uh, this entire island will be reduced to ashes. And it won't even be my fault. I'm at least trying to gather some resources and do a little, do a little research before all of this is lost. Resources. <laughs> On the, uh, research. On the flowers, the unusual, uh, the unusual properties of them, perhaps? Yeah, he like Nike now moves over to you to in front of yourself. Yes, haven't you wondered why the animals here are so yes, large and, and strange? There are a few postulates and theorems that would be very intriguing to test. It is all because of the effects of this so-called tree, tree of, of life, life they have here on this island. What a marvelous, colorful superstition! And I wink quickly at the, the uh, at the shadow. This you can't really wink uh, at him. There's just well. like then a wall not. blocking your view of the <laughs> shadow. You can only hear each other, not see each other. Well, the local natives, those strange green-skinned savages, treat it like it's some sort of god. They've, uh, they've tried to, well, uh, impede my progress several times with uh, limited progress, but I managed to fend them off in I the... Uh, see. I managed to fend them Such off every nuisance. time. For you see, a trace elements of this tree of life is found within each organism. Well, at least every um, uh, plant-like or animal. Uh, no. Um. What? Wait. I have a better name. Say. Ah. Well, at least in all the fauna of this uh, island, can at least. Uh, has at least some trace elements. It has different effects on, well, uh, most most of them. Some of them become larger, some of them grow more resilient and stronger. As for the humans, if you can at least call them that, they've they've become quite, sh well, they've, they are shorter than your average human being, but for some reason they are green and more uh, and, would you and consider tougher the fact and stronger that, would than Would you consider the human? theorem that they have um, plant cells instead of animal cells, then the green color would... No? Oh, really? No. What kind? It is a mutation. That I am still studying. I think there may be something uh, called uh, uh, magic involved, but that is all just superstitious nonsense. I, when I'm done with my research, I, I'm certain I will find the true source and of this mutation it, that, and uh, use it to my advantage. Uh, to be fair, Herr Doctor, that does not sound much like a grand scheme, more of a smash und grab. What will you do with your, with your research? To tell you the truth, the research is just a side project. 
my real, what I really hope to gain here is, uh, well, I need time to finish my army, of course. Before once again, time runs how out can once time again. run out for you? <laughs> I, I just mean time for this island will run out. As I said, in the year 1932, there will be a, will be a disastrous volcano eruption here, which will wipe out all life on yes, this island. Yes, Such indeed. a waste, do you not think? Hmm. We are all, all of us growing volcanoes. that approach the hour of their eruption, but how near or distant that is, nobody knows. Did you actually have a, a um, philosophical saying uh, at the ready related to volcanoes? In Burnley he does. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> he has something to say about every situation. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Doctor so just like looks to the side and now his eyes. Mm, yes. <laughs> so basically, what you're saying here is that you are building an army, obviously yes. to try and take over the world. No, you're using... it is not to take over the world. It is to reap my revenge on, on who? The <laughs> on the world. <laughs> he says silently. On those who have mocked and betrayed me! Okay, wait a minute. So, let me get this straight. You're a mad scientist. You've been I mocked am not and mad! I'm a genius! You've been mocked and betrayed, and you need an army to kill about ten other scientists. Really? Actually, it is one that. scientist! Wow. One scientist. Hire a frickin' assassin, you dumb shit. I... Are you insane? How will I prove my genius by hiring an assassin? I need to show because... that I'm smarter than he is. No, because for the simple fact, if you're... If you kill the one person who mocks you, then nobody can mock you when you put your ideas forward and maybe someone will listen. Hey, go figure, it's a smart idea. You simpleton, what will army. that prove? <laughs> It'll prove that you're not an evil, maniacal, mad scientist that's willing to build a gigantic army to kill one little insignificant man. I need to prove the world what, what, what kind of a <laughs> genius I am! I knew it. And, so, you, and you can do that with either killing the um, insignificant Gnat that has been uh, harassing you, or by showing the world your great advance in robotics. <clears throat> but yes! With, with joining my army, they will see what, what kind of, what, that I am more of a genius than he could ever be! However, okay, it was so. also unite all your enemies against you. Why not show your show yourself as a magnificent patron to the robotic arts? Show them working robots that can do the, the work of 100 people. That can do things that no human wants to do. Or Europe needs rebuilding. That's or, not a bad idea, but... Or you could do this. And now this is just spitballing here, but here's an idea for you. Instead of building a giant army of robots, why not equip a giant army with robotic parts? I'm just saying. That is not very brilliant. You really are a fool, are you not? That's not very brilliant and doesn't prove the point that your science is superior. Yeah, it no. does. Because Build an army of construction robots. Europe will be so grateful, and your opponents will be laughed out of town. Isn't that a great idea? Well, perhaps I will do that after I've taken, uh, I mean, after I've shown my genius and taken care of um, it, one that has made me look like a fool. Also, he almost said, uh, he almost said after I've taken over the city, but he quickly co uh, corrected no, himself. No, I, I heard that. So, mm. that's the whole point. It has nothing to do with killing the one that mocked you. It has to do with the fact that you really do want to take over the world. 
I see how you are. No, it's just one city! Ah. I'm taking over the city has nothing to do with- I don't want to rule the city, it's just a show of force! And exactly. what will that accomplish? There it is. Do you... That they will see that I'm a genius! No, they will see that you're an evil, maniacal bi person that needs to be stopped. <laughs> yeah, you want to say bitch. I, I I won't expect a simpleton like you to see the brilliance of my plan. And he like, mm. like strokes his, mm. his uh, goatee. Have see... you considered running for a mayor? I will not I won't waste my time as of, on such frivolities. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a but, minute. But, a with, minute. You, but with your superior intellect, you could easily win such a race. Are you afraid of doing that? No. What is holding you back? It. I, my research! There's research to be done! I have no time for politics! Okay, so hold on a moment. You mean to tell I'm me... I'm a robotic genius! You mean to tell me that you would rather waste your time building robots than waste your time running a political campaign? Really? Because you do realize... What kind of... You do realize that we are going to escape from these sales... We are going to get our ha! shit back, and we are going to destroy ha! your army of robots, and then you'll be left with nothing, and you'll still have that guy mocking you. Why don't you go to the mainland right now, hire the assassin, before we break out of here? That way, at least, you won't be mocked anymore. <sighs> and by the way, the, the woman next to him hasn't said anything the whole time. She li He, like, looks at him. <laughs> What do you say, Miss Neeson? Would it please you if I killed him right now? And uh, she calmly, calmly states, "Yes, he did. His, uh, he does offend me on a personal level. But that would be too easy." And then she says, "I could do it for you, Doctor." Yeah, but still, we should make him suffer. I need to think of a, an appropriate way to silence him. Oh. But if anything more offensive come out of your, comes out of your mouth, I will personally make it so you can never speak again. Is that understood? Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Bad guy threatened to <laughs> <good> guy. <laughs> uh, now I completely lost my train of <laughs> That's actually Bill Heck laughing. <laughs> kill him! Kill him and do us all a favor. <laughs> he gets out. A, he gets out a very advanced-looking gun and shoots you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and do you know what? Uh, is there anything nearby that I can grab real quick? Yes, the bars. The electrified Not bars. Not really. You're. You're in an empty cell, and the only thing there is like a a, a small uh, washing up basin and, and like a toilet. That's the only. I thing grab a washing there. up basin, or I put my fist in the washing basin, and I use it to defend. Yeah. So it's wait what? Like a fist roll. What are you gonna do? You're gonna rip out the sink and <laughs> use that to yeah, defend yourself? Duh. I've got the might. Sorry, Richard. It all happens to. Too quickly for you to be able to do that, unless you want to spend the fate point for it. Personally, I would just <laughs> yes. dodge. I don't have dodge. <laughs> uh, I've got... to be you. you have I've athletics, got the athletics. same thing. I know, yes, but athletics is the same I was thing. trying to figure out a way to do it with my fists. <laughs> you mean maxer? In this case, you can't do it with your yes. fists. You need to. You need yeah, to. Yeah, you are mean maxer. Actually. Okay. All right. I got six, I guess. Hmm. Huh. Okay. That's equal, but uh, fortunately for you, he does extra yeah, damage with his uh, gun, so... Uh, Actually, no. Not he, in this um, game. That's no. I said he does extra damage with his gun. He has like a plus two damage thingy, so... Yeah, but that's that the case. damage, not a uh, Anyway, right? he, you like take a grazing shot to uh, the shoulder. Hmm. Seem to quite you seem to be quite nimble for for such a lummox. Oh, now you're just sweet talking me. Yes. Um, 
He like he like goes to he like goes to a a console next to your cell. He like taps in some number, and you like see like this metal plate like slowly go going over your your um. <laughs> well, the cell bars, and he like waves <laughs> at you. And as he does that, <laughs> uh, once the metal plate goes down, Glonk. you see Bill walk over to the wash mm -hmm. basin, rip it out. <laughs> and... uh, give me a might roll. You can't just say yeah, I rip can. it out. I'm Bill Hex. <laughs> mm, you're not Superman, dude. Uh, just you're not Batman, dude. That. Yeah, you're not Superman. Uh, five. Five. Okay, it's going to take you a while, but you rip it out. Awesome. And you see him beginning to fiddle with it, and basically what I'm doing Oh, and it's dark in your cell I'm... now, by the way. I know, but I can still feel it. And what I'm doing is I'm going to wrap it around my hands. How? It's made of, uh, not not stone, but uh, ceramics? ceramics. Yeah, ceramics. You're oh, welcome. damn it. Okay, I thought it'd be metal. No. Is there any kind of metal attached to it? Well, the there, there's the faucet, but it's not very big. What about the pipes? I did just rip it out of the wall. True, true. Uh, mm, let me think logically. Um, okay, there's um, behind... Behind it, there's this uh, rather large, and I'm probably using the, the um, wrong word. Well, actually, yeah, you just see one pipe. I'm not going to go into detail because you can't see through the wall. Okay. And uh, but that one to... is stuck in the wall, and it's very improbable that you'll be able to get it out. No, I know. I'm not going to get the whole pipe out. I'm just going to bend a, per a certain a certain length of it. And, and we'll it and stress, it. though, that you don't have superhuman strength, and it's very improbable that you'll be able to pull that off. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, uh, back to uh, monologuing. You can uh, escape later. Yes. And now I completely lost my train of thought. Um... Wait, do they have a bed? Bunk. Now, yeah, moving there's off this the very monologue. uncomfortable bunk connected to uh, the wall. Is it metal? Nope, it's wood. Okay. Now, right, monologuing. Monologuing. No metal chains on it, though. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Um. I can use those. Mhm. Mm <sighs> I see my genius is lost on all of you. No, no, Instead no. of wasting my time on you, I will. What, did you want to say something, Dal? I object. I am not some lummox like the American. I, too, am a scientist. Do not group me in the same category as him. Well, we can't, you can't hear that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> then why are you working with him if you're such a genius? He was the best I had. I will need to make a recruit. I will need to recruit better help. I think. I feel. Just build your own, like I do. My expertise lies in weaponry, mostly. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Uh, you could never hope to to to. Uh, you could never hope to uh, gain my level of genius. That's for certain. First, you have to go mad. <laughs> Well, but I am not there. mad! But you are or already there, Herr Doctor. So I don't think that would be such a far-fetched solution. I am glad that uh, we have different... that we have differences in our approaches. For I find your plan to be laughable. No personal offense. Men. What is laughable about it? I am, I am gathering resources to build my army. It is a very realistic plan. However, you're using... I feel that you're using the wrong tools to accomplish your goal. Your goal is not... Uh, is not some... Your goal is respect and admiration. Recognition. Domination. 
You can get that by beating the ever-living cap. Oh God, I'm going starting to sound like American. <laughs> <laughs> With force you can, for, with brutal force you can try and win that, but it would be not based on your genius, but on the size of your robot's guns. And the very fact that they are autom uh, atomic automatons, or ne autonomous auto yeah. uh, autonomous. Automatons, there we go. Well, wow, that's a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that is where that is indeed your genius. But the, this genius would be marred by the way that you um, choose to employ it. Would you use it in a different manner? People would respect you for it much more. It is so easy to destroy, but it is very hard to build. That is why I'm building an army to destroy. To destroy, yeah. <laughs> but if you build a army to create, to construct, to rebuild the shattered ruins of Europe, you would be admired. People will want you to build more and even better robots. So, what's the shattered ruins of Europe? What's the point? The point? There's always there's always new world wars around the corner. Yeah, the point they get rebuilt. Another one is yes. the, it's destroyed again. That's it. You will have a business that would that would you would have a business that will not go out of business for ages to come, which gives you more time and more resources to do and actually science. Europe is not my concern, German, and I'm not going to take take a German's word for it. You're the cause of all these wars happening all the time anyway. That is beside the point. <laughs> Though, aren't you wondering what he means with all these wars happening all the time? Yes, that's true. And what are you talking about these wars? The last... W the world, there's only been one world war. Great war. That's right. There's only been one great war. What does this world war? What does? What do you mean with that? He he paused for a moment. Oh yes, we're in. The, we're in. The, he mumbles. Oh yes, we're in the tw we're in the 1920s. <laughs> well, it doesn't concern you. Let's just see. I have seen the future. You are from the future, aren't you? Well, it doesn't really matter what you know. You'll never escape from here. You will very die very soon. Mm. Maybe by lowering you very slowly in a cell into the into the molten magma. Oh, that would be so cliche. It though. is. I'm sure that the man of your caliber can be much more creative than that. I tried recon. I tried con hooking up the last ones to to uh, some of my robots, but they weren't very. Well, it didn't work out. I very see. Well. Yes. Have you tried uh, making, forcing your victims to dance to their deaths? No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to come up with a more creative way of disposing you that will also work to my advantage, that. like reusing your parts or something. I thought centurions had some sort of magnificent energy within them, but uh, that's just superstitious nonsense I've discovered. I see. I still wonder what makes you all tick. How how come you have so much vitality? Uh, healthy nutrition. Yes, I... not certain. I'm just... Yes, exercise, good sleep. Spoofnum? Uh, You've been Spoofnum? triggered. <laughs> You've been triggered. Mm -hmm. That's also one of the things that, that your <laughs> mentor was really <laughs> pondering about. What makes Centurions yes, what well, they are? Uh, hmm, I'm not sure if I have a, any much here. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Just saying. Would be appropriate for you to react. Uh, but I don't think I have anything here. Hey, about that. Okay, cool. 